Notice that on the screen, I have five different notifications. I'm not grouping them on purpose, so we can simulate that these five notifications come from different apps. How would you clear these notifications normally? You would come here and click on the little X on each one of them. Or if you have a magic mouse, you could swipe to the right. You could also come to the control center. Notice that since the notifications come from different apps, you cannot close all of them at once. So that's an inconvenience. Sometimes you get a few notifications and you're just gonna get rid of them. Let's imagine that I'm in my browser. I'm gonna press a single key map and it's gonna get rid of all the notifications. So I'm going to press right command UK. That's what I configured and notice that each one of them is closing. All of them are gone. What if I have a single notification? Let me bring one up by running this command and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press leader UK and the notification is gone. I'm going to bring up the five notifications again. Here I have them. I'm just going to execute this command. Notifications are showing up and I'm just going to press leader UK. They're going to clear. Let me show you how I personally do this. I'm going to bring up this macOS tool called Better Touch Tool. And under keyboard shortcuts, you can see them here. I have a lot of them, but the one that I use to clear the notifications is right here. So the only thing that you need to do is configure a keyboard shortcut here. I did not, but I'm going to show you why in a minute. If I open this, you're going to see a set of actions that are executed in order. The first one, make sure that it's a delay. I'm going to click here so you can see this delay next action blocking. I just left it for 0.1 seconds. And this second action is the one that actually clears the notifications. You just look for it here. You're you're going to find close all notification alerts notification center. You can leave this action as the first one, but I was having a small issue after executing this. It was switching to the better touch tool app, not the app that I was working on at the beginning. So that's why I added these two below. This is just a delay. This is command tab and I execute command tab again. The only thing I run these two is because they leave me at the same app that I was working on when I execute the key map. You can try leaving these two only and see if they work. If not, you can add these as well. If you don't know what better touch tool is, and what all these shortcuts mean. I have a video. You'll be able to find that in the top right corner. You're going to notice that I did not configure a keyboard shortcut to call this. And that is because I use another tool that allows me to use more shortcuts. That's why I was able to press right command UK to call this action. How do I do that? If I right click on this, you're going to see this pop up menu. I can click here, copy link to activate selected trigger, and I can call it from carabiner elements. Let me go there real quick. And here is my carabiner configuration. If I press my hyper key, which is right command, I press then the letter U and then I press down here the letter K that is going to execute this better touch tool action. So I just paste the link to the action that I copied on better touch tool and that's what it's going to call it. So that's what allows me to press leader UK. I use carabiner elements for way more stuff. I have a pretty advanced configuration. If you don't know what all this is and what all this means, I also have a video. You'll be able to find that video as well on the top right corner. It's a little bit old, but the content is still relevant. If you search on the web, if there's any other ways to clear notifications with a shortcut, you're going to find a few articles. You can go over them. We're probably going to share a script. I didn't want to try them since Better Touch Tool offers that option. Better Touch Tool is a paid application just so you keep that in mind, but it's pretty useful. If you don't want to get Better Touch Tool, go through these and see if you can find a solution that works with your macOS version. I'm running macOS Sonoma in case that helps. That's it for this video. Hope you found it useful. I'll see you in the next one.